Hi, Samsung S3 Guru here, and today I want to talk about getting your SAMI S3 to display on a HDMI monitor, uh, computer screen, recording, etc. And first, let me start off by saying OMG. You may have noticed I haven't been online, um, I haven't been updating these as often as I was before, and that is because I have taken the last two and a half to three weeks to solve this one issue. And let me first lay out what the issue is, what we're trying to accomplish, and then I'll lay out how we go about resolving it. Um, one of the things I quickly wanted to do, or one of the things I, I wanted to do fairly early on, is be able to display the output from my SAMI S3. As you know, before, up until today, when I was showing you something that had to do with my SAMI S3, I was recording it with a video camera over my shoulder. And while that works and that's fine, um, as I want to get more and more into things, I wanted to actually have the display. Well, obviously your SAMI has an HDMI output via the micro USB port, and there's actually supposed to be a couple of different ways that you can get video to come out of the system. Now, here's what happens. Depending upon which version of this phone, and you may think there's only one, but I say nay nay, uh, depending on which version of the phone you have is going to be how easy or how difficult this is. If you're in Europe, if you have the European, which is considered the i9000, you're great and fantastic. If you have pretty much anything except for the Verizon version in the United States, you're all set there. If you have the version from the United States for the Verizon, you've got some issues. Alright, so... Uh, let me first go over what we should have been able to do and what you can do if you have the European version which is the i9000 and I'm gonna actually start when I do these reviews is actually tell you which version of the phone I'm dealing with because there are I found out from um, your my, my contact at Samsung there's actually some circuit board differences which I mean we knew that because uh, there's not a quad core in the American version as there is in the European version but there are some other um, electronic differences that make not only this task more difficult, but other tasks uh, that you may want to do in the future. So anyway, so let's get down to it. So the first thing I wanted to use was this, which I should have been able to use, which is the Samsung uh, All Share Cast Wireless Hub, which it proudly says for the Galaxy S3. Uh, the Note 2, the Note 10 inch, uh, everything's fine and dandy. And again, this is on the United States. This is the United States version. You can see it says item located in Minnesota, United States, ships worldwide. It doesn't work worldwide. It will work for the European version. I've got a test. I think it will work with the YouTube, uh, I'm sorry, with the T-Mobile version, but it is not going to work with the Verizon version. And I had to go through a couple of these and go back to the um, to them, and I actually had to go through to Samsung before we actually found out what the issue is. Now, when you get this, what's supposed to happen uh, is that you're supposed to go into your, your SAMI S3, you're supposed to go into a setting, you're supposed to turn on the uh, all sheer cast setting and then you can wirelessly talk to this device and on the back of this device it has an HDMI connection and you plug that into your monitor and that works for everything else now if you have that I'll, sh I'll show you where you're going to actually come into the issue what they do is they tell you to go into um, more settings and they tell you to go down and below S beam below S beam on the Samsung S3 the European version and some of the American versions but definitely not in the Verizon versions there is a thing that says all share cast share and you turn that on as you can see we don't have that we have Wi-Fi we have SB and Wi-Fi direct um, nearby devices I'll actually try and see if I can get one and show you the, the differences but this doesn't this feature is not here it's probably never going to be here because um, the guru was able to get a hold of somebody that says dude there's a actually a, a capacitor that's not on the motherboard for the Verizon version that you need to have on there if you're going to have dual streams open which is what you need if you're using these particular pieces so there's actually a bunch of all uh, all share cat all share apps that are not on the Verizon version of the phone and 
there's no entry for that and these things won't work so that should have been the easiest thing and that's what I wanted to do so I would just plug it in whip it out and do it okay so I can't do that so what are your choices well the next choice that they have uh, is called a uh, MHL adapter which stands for mobile high definition link and this has been around for, for quite some time and there are two versions of this there is a 5 pin version and a 11 pin version so going back to this again there is an adapter out there it has a micro USB on one end and it has a uh, HDMI connector on the other end and what you're supposed to be able to do is just plug this in it's kind of a goofy setup because you plug this in your micro USB you plug your HDMI cable into the HDMI and you plug power into this which is what you need uh, to have and I, I made allusion to this uh, in the past because I used to use this when I was in uh, Estonia on my vacation when I'd go over a friend's house and I would just plug it in to the phone as you can see the wireless version would be much better you sit on the couch you hold the phone in your hand and you can do whatever you want to do this thing you have some issues because now you have to have you know two and three and four plugs and this has to be blah 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 and so there's some different issues now the next thing that happens is that almost all of the HML to HDMI adapters uh, that are being sold um, will not work with your Samsung, your Sammy S3. Uh, apparently most of the ones that were made previously were the 11 pin version or the 5 pin version. I'll actually tell you exactly what it is. I think it's, uh, I, I think we have the 5 pin version and it's the 11. In any event, what you'll find is, is if, so if you have one of these from, uh, I had one of these from my previous phone which was my, um, my Galaxy Nexus, uh, Galaxy Nexus, yeah, my Galaxy Nexus. Um, these don't work on the Sammy S3. So I got one of these and this so what do you have to do? So you have to actually get this other gizmo which is a 5 to 11 pin adapter. Okay, so it's a 5 pin to 11 pin. I'll have to figure out which which end has the 5 and which has the 11, but in any event. So it says 5 to 11. So I'm going to assume that it it is 5 on the Sammy S3 and 11 for everybody else. But in any event, so you have to get this adapter first, and then and you can actually see there's some other, you know, every time they're selling these things, you're like, dude, you need this plus this plus this, frequently bought together. <laughs> That's why, because if you have just the HM, uh, uh, the MHL adapter, it ain't going to work. You have to have this and this, definitely if you have a, a Verizon. This is the only way this is going to work, all right? So save yourself some time and trouble. If you're not sure exactly which ones, email me. I'll actually give you the, the links to a vendor that sells the right two pieces. Now, once you buy both of those uh, for the Verizon or you have one of the other pieces, then you can do very similar to what I have here, which is basically now I can uh, dump the Sammy S3 output directly onto... Uh, my HDMI monitor. Now, in this particular case, I actually I got a HDMI um, video capture card, which actually had a HDMI connector on there, and that's how I'm able to make these now. And that's what I wanted these for, so that I could actually just I could do these uh, very quickly and have a high degree of um, display for you, which is what I wanted. Now, of course, this works with um, now you can do it one of two ways. I'm actually picking up the phone and I'm swiping through. And of course, once I, it's, I'm waiting right now. I actually, so it didn't go off. Um, and I can swipe through and do it that way. Or what I will probably do in most instances is I actually have a um, Bluetooth mouse. And I'm going to actually use, and this guy's killing me in Scramble. All I can tell you. Yeah, let me saw that real quick. Uh, and that says that there was an earthquake someplace, which we had an earthquake here, by the way. This guy's actually been killing me in screen. But anyway, so I can actually do these demos, and this was very important to me that I do these demos. I could do it on something else, but I wanted to actually do them on my Sandy S3, and I wanted to actually have uh, the output show up on here, which is what I wanted. And, of course, now once I have all this, I could go ahead and um, let's see if I can just find something here. 
I can now go ahead and actually play a video. And of course, now my video will actually show it. And it actually has full sound in the whole nine yards. Of course, it wouldn't always be a uh, black and white TV. I suppose we could find something a little bit better. Thank you. Uh, the nose okay. being better. But now I have the output. Again, if you have the European version, I'd say go with the wireless one. The wireless one is awesome. You can plug it in. You can then wirelessly uh, access your device. So you can actually sit on the couch, do some things, and you're, you're fine and, and dandy. If you've got the Verizon version, this is the only, the only way you're going to do it is using those, uh, those two pieces. So you'll need the MHL uh, adapter, and then you'll need the adapter for the adapter, and that's the only way it's going to work. And again, I'll try and publish a definitive list as to which, if you have the T-Mobile version, if you have one of the other, because again, they keep coming on all the time, um, I'll try and publish a definitive list. But if you go through that, you won't be able to do this. So I just wanted to do this, this one now and explain how this works and actually show you it working, because again, um, as you saw with that other one, I mean, they're not saying any, nothing in here says this will not work with the, um, with the Verizon version. Okay, now see, here's, okay, let's see, I, I may have to bite my lip here because they may have now decided that they figured this out. See, it's a Sammy S3 and it says T-Mobile and Sprint only. Uh, so apparently they found it. Uh, compatibility may require software update, blah, 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 blah. So these guys are at least starting to. But there's some of them out there that are just saying, as long as you have a Samsung Galaxy S3, you can use this thing, and that is not the case. Um, and quite a few of these were shipped before people said, hey, this isn't going to work with the Verizon version. So um, I'll take it that they, since they have this part, that they actually have figured this out. So if you have the T-Mobile version or the Sprint version, you can use this wireless adapter. If you have the Verizon version, you're going to need to use the uh, two adapters that I spoke of previously. And I'm almost certain if you have the international version, again, this is a moot point. You can go ahead and do that. So that's it for now. You'll see a lot more reviews and um, tutorials and things from me now that I have a way to just quickly pop this in and go and uh, send that out. This is Samsung S3 Guru. As you notice, again, on the app, we now have a donation button. My wife has told me if somebody does not send me a dollar at some point in time fairly soon I will not be allowed to buy any more equipment because every time I every time the, the monthly bill comes in from the credit card company she's like why did you buy this why did you buy this why did you buy this and I said well honey because I've got this wonderful app and I'm teaching him and she goes did anybody send you at least a dollar and I was like no no nobody sent me a dollar so we have that new uh, button on there so if you get a chance Send me a dollar so I can at least tell her, stop bothering me, so I can keep these um, uh, reviews coming out to you. So that's it for now. Samsung S3 Guru saying, I'm out of here.